just eight minutes. I'd have to speak to Mooty about that cherry blossom blizzard tea business because I've got a few really nasty neighbours that I need to get rid of. We are in online right now, taking your Hello? calls live and on air. We've got Philip Hi. Oliver and Jennifer Ellison. Got anyone interesting on the lines right now? Hello? Hello? I've got someone on the lines, but she won't speak. She won't Hello? speak. <laughs> Hello? Hi, uh... No? A little bit too What's shy, but that happens. Now, remember, Hi. thanks, it's guys. Vicky. Vicky. Nice, Vicky. Vicky, you're on the live TV. speaking to superstar. Ah! Right, later on <laughs> in the show, um, we're going to be giving away Live and Kicking's Most Wanted. That's five sets of the top ten of Live and Kicking's best things, like books, CDs, everything. If you want to take part in that, you've got to look out for three numbers. When you see those three numbers, what you then got to do is jot it down and then dial the number on your screen right now. Okay, that's Live and Kicking's Most Wanted. I'm going to step through to this room now for no real reason. I'm going to knock on the door. <laughs> Thank you very much. I didn't expect it. I don't know why I'm walking through the room. Um, you remember, I was talking about the live and kicking um, uh, most wanted numbers. It, it can come up at any time and... Oh, what do you know? My shoelaces are bad. <laughs> but speaking of giving away prizes, I'm feeling kind of real generous today. So I asked my live and kicking peoples, why don't we give away a bike and loads of safety gear? And they said, we'll only do it if... Daniel comes oh, in on... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, ah, hey. my foot! Oh! Sorry. Yeah, cheers, mate. Right. No, okay, we're giving away this bike and lots of safety no. gear, Daniel, and you have a question, don't you? I do indeed. All right, then. The question is, what medal did British cyclist Jason Queerley win at the mighty Sydney Olympics? Yeah, they, yeah all right. Yeah. They, they were just Sydney Olympics, <laughs> mate. All right, calm down. Okay, if you know the answer to that, what they've got to do is, what you've got to do is on your screen right now, it's uh, right in, live and kicking, PO Box 8181, London, W12, 6LA. Do you know what? I haven't read out that address since episode one of Live and Kicking. Could you do the question one more time? What medal did British cyclist Jason Queerley win at the mighty, mighty, fantastically good Sydney Olympics this year? Do you think he's biased? <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right. Uh, we've got to talk to the hand coming up a little bit later on, and here's more on that. Westlife's Brian is this week's star to take the famous Talk to the Hand challenge. Brian's famous for being the joke of the band and in his arm with a quick fire Irish wit. We need your questions to wipe that smile off his face. So, is he really smitten for a kitten? And is the life of Brian all that it's cracked up to be? Get dialing 0845 610 1515 now. chance to be a ball boy or girl at the AXA sponsored FA Cup final. <laughs> and it's getting even more exciting now because the FA Cup is hotting up each week. It's getting very exciting now. But let's get on with the quiz. And please, let's welcome back our reigning champion who's been tonking the opposition for four weeks. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Anton Spice. <laughs> Yeah. And then 2-2. Two, two. We threw away that, didn't we? Yep. Oh, dear. So what's the score prediction for Arsenal Newcastle then? Because uh, bearing in mind, Katie Hill is uh, a Newcastle fan. 2-1 to, to Arsenal. 2-1 to, to Arsenal. Katie Hill, 2-1 to, to the Arsenal. We'll find out later, I suppose. Yeah. OK, give it up for Anton, ladies and gentlemen. He's playing around this week. And he... His challenger this week is Andrew Feldman from Watford. Yep. Yeah, 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 Watford. We love Watford. <laughs> now, I, I do have to say that Watford and Arsenal both. I mean, you had 20 odd wins on the trot and then lost the last four. Yeah. I believe. Yeah. What's happening? Just taking a hit. Hey, you think I've got a theory? I've got a theory. Chairman Elton John should be spending less money on flowers and more money on players. Yeah. That's what I think. Okay. Right, guys, check your buzzers. Okay, can I have nine seconds on the clock? Are you ready? Yep. Let's play Have You Got The Balls? Your time starts now. Who was this week rejoined Aston Villa from... Steve Staunton. Correct. Can you name last year's PFA Young Player of the Year? Michael Owen. 
No, it was Harry Kuehl. Which team has this season's lowest average premiership crowd? Southampton. Is correct. Who has the highest first division average? Fulham. No, it's Birmingham City. Who is nicknamed Psycho? Oh, shoot, Piss. Correct. Who scored Manchester United's second goal against? Um, Ryan Giggs. Is correct. Who is currently the leading goal scorer in the Scottish Premier League? Henrik Lofton. Correct. Leicester's Muzzy is it plays for which? Turkey. Correct. Which Northwest club did David Beckham join on loan before? Preston. Is Preston North End, I'll give you that. Where did Derby County play? Um, Pride Park. Nah, I see, interrupted. It's the baseball ground, it was before Pride Park. In total, Arsenal and Watford have played each other 14 times in seven. It was, I was, I'll finish the question. 14 times in the league, who has won the most games? It was Watford 8, Arsenal 5, 1 draw. Listen to the rest of the question. Stephen Manaman plays his football for which Spanish team? Real Madrid. Is correct. Uh, Newcastle United fans are nicknamed Geordies, but are Sunderland. Um. No. Oh, no, picked too early. It's Mackhams. Sunderland fans are known as Mackhams. Who is England's most capped player? Alan Shearer. No, it's Peter Shilton. Which Premiership team failed to win a league game away from? Uh, Derby. Oh, no, it's Coventry. Guys, listen to the whole question. Strip teaser. Which Italian side is famous for its blue and black striped shirts? Inter Milan. Correct. Which Premiership manager is nicknamed the Bald Eagle? Oh, Jim, uh, Jim Smith. Uh, it's correct. And I'm running out of questions. We're out of questions. Oh, my God. Johnson. Thank you very much, sir. A nice, clean game. Could have been messy. Messier than the page three of a newspaper on the floor of a dog shelter. Messier than a child's diaper after it's been left to its own devices for a few hours after tea. Scores, please. Andrew has three, but Anton... Anton has three, but Andrew has dethroned our champion with seven points! <laughs> You get there. And now you can go to, sp to football on Saturday yeah. morning, OK? Yeah. Andrew, yeah. you're going to come back next week? Definitely. <laughs> Fantastic, Andrew Feldman will be back next week. And now I think at football games, once you have a Mexican wave every now and then, don't you think? So... <laughs> yeah. I didn't mean literally. Here's more Monsters with Attitude, part two of Monster Rancher.